Lilith is one of the oldest known female spirits of the world. Her roots come from the famous Epic of Gilgamesh, but she was also described in the Bible and the Talmud. In some sources she's described as a demon, in others she is an icon who became one of the darkest deities of the pagans. In Jewish tradition, she is the most notorious demon, but in some other sources she appears as the first woman created on earth. According to a legend, God formed Lilith as the first woman. He did it in the same way as he created Adam. The only difference was that in place of pure dust, he also used filth and residue. Traditionally Lilith means the night, and she is related to attributes connected with the spiritual aspects of sensuality and freedom, but also terror. A cult associated with Lilith survived among some Jews as late as the 7th century CE. The evil she threatened, especially against children and women in childbirth, was said to be counteracted by the wearing of an amulet bearing the names of certain angels. Lilith's name comes from the Sumerian word Lili too, which meant a wind spirit or a female demon. Lilith was mentioned in the Tablet 12 of the Epic of Gilgamesh, a famous poem of ancient Mesopotamia dated back to not later than circa 2100 BC. The tablet was added to the original text much later, circa 600 BC, in its later Assyrian and Akkadian translations. She appears in a magical story, where she represents the branches of a tree. She is described with other demons, but researchers still argue if she was a demon or a dark goddess. At the same time, she appeared in early Jewish sources, so it is difficult to find out who mentioned her first. However, it is obvious that from the beginning of her existence in the text she was related to Sumerian witchcraft. In the Babylonian Talmud, Lilith was described as a dark spirit with an uncontrollable and dangerous sexuality. She is said to have fertilized herself with male sperm to create demons. She is believed to be the mother of hundreds of demons. Lilith was known in the culture of the Hittites, Egyptians, Greeks, Israelis, and Romans as well. In later times, she migrated to the north of Europe. She represented chaos, sexuality, and she has been said to have cast spells on people. Lilith appears in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah 34:14, which describes the desolation of Eden. From the beginning, she is considered as a devilish spirit, unclean, and dangerous. The Genesis Rabbah describes her as the first wife of Adam. According to the book, God created her and Adam at the same time. Lilith was very strong, independent, and wanted to be equal with Adam. She did not accept being less important than him and refused to lie beneath Adam for copulation. The marriage did not work and they never found happiness. In rabbinic literature Lilith is variously depicted as the mother of Adam's demonic offspring. Some accounts hold that Lilith was the woman implied in Genesis 1:27 and was made from the same soil as Adam. Lilith left Adam in the perfection of the Garden of Eden. Three angels tried in vain to force her return. According to some mythologies, her demonic offspring were sired by an archangel named Samael and were not Adam's progeny. Those children are sometimes identified as incubi and succubi. In the Gilgamesh and Isaiah episodes, Lilith flees to desert spaces. In the alphabet of Ben Sira her destination is the Red Sea. Three angels are sent in search of Lilith. When they find her at the Red Sea, she refuses to return to Eden, claiming that she was created to devour children. To prevent the three angels from drowning her in the Red Sea, Lilith swears in the name of God that she will not harm any infant who wears an amulet bearing her name. Thank you for watching be sure to subscribe.